Cancer. Welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do a reading for you. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. You might check your other placements for a more complete picture or if this one doesn't resonate with you, okay? You might check your sun, moon, rising, maybe your north node, here and now. Okay, this is telling you you need to be in the here and the now. And if you look at that image, it will have an image of the past, an image of the future, and saying, no, you need to be right here, right now. Okay? The past does not really benefit you, it's gone. Okay? We learn from our past, you know, but don't drag it with you into the present. And the future isn't here yet, right? So don't spend your time anticipating what might happen. Beautiful. This is saying that you are protected during this time. I love that energy. Mm -hmm. So be in the here and now, and you are protected. Okay, let's get another card. Let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and the guidance of spirit. <laughs> As we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. So this one card is encompassing both of these cards. So yeah, they are all together. Okay? Don't base anything on the past and realize that you are protected. You can let go. Mm -hmm. And that's a big deal. Because when you can let go, it helps a person to feel so much more at ease. It's a very big deal. And I know we've all gone through times where our stomach tightens up and we get stressed. And this is telling you, you don't need to do that. Just relax. Okay, let's get some tarot. And see what it would like to share. A beautiful, beautiful energy. Ace of Swords. And this is saying, it's in connection with the here and now. Be in the here and now. Okay? And this is a new beginning. One of clarity. Of knowing. It's kind of like parting the clouds and you can see exactly what is before you. Here. You know, don't be in the past. Don't be in the future. Be right here, right now. And so you can see that link. See what is in front of you. Have that new beginning. Okay, let's get a card for protection. Maybe. Sometimes they take their time, don't they? Mm-mm. No book. One card for cancer, please. For protection. Well, these two kind of clipped and one didn't come out. So what this is saying is it's an ending. Let go of the past. Well, you know, let go of what no longer serves you. 
and go on to your happiness, okay? Just release, let go. Past, being the present. Here it's saying, this is done. Whatever is over here is gone. There could be some emotional involvement. There might not be. It might just be happiness that you are going to have your new beginning and that you are protected. And here, this is a learning energy. And this is learning how to deal with people, how to have health, healthy relationships. And you can see where all these rays are coming out. That's his heart center. So it's about love. Okay, let's get one more card. And that I found pretty fascinating that this encompasses both of those. And it even mentions a word about being protected. And the word about the past. You know, don't live in the past and realize that you're protected so you can relax, let go. And look at her. She looks very relaxed and she looks like she is letting go. Mm -hmm. This wants to come out. Beautiful. Okay. So what that is saying is that you are going to where you really want to be. This you're leaving behind <laughs> the past. You're you know you're leaving this behind. You're having this ending, and you are going to where your happiness is where your joy, protection, abundance, all the things that you want in your life, this is where you're going. And to me, what this is saying is if you allow the divine to help you, you know you're protected, let go of the past, this will lead you to your happiness, okay? Your new beginning, one where you see clearly and you let go of all the past issues, and you do everything with love, you're going to go forward into where you truly want to be. Let's take a few clarifying cards. Oh my goodness. So I would say it's a wee bit deep, but a whole lot of lovely. Okay. Let's get a card for here and now. <laughs> you have the Three of Cups saying, it is time to celebrate. And the Three of Cups to me is my card of your support system. Mm -hmm. So get together with the people you know, the people you love and care about, and celebrate and lift each other up. Okay? And if you need help in any aspect, allow these people that are close to you to help you. You would help them. Okay. Let's get a card for the Ten of Swords. Well, I'm sorry. That's just way too many. This wants to come out. Ah, the tower. So it is possible that it could create, or a tower could happen to create this ending. Now towers can be very small, they can be large, they can be very positive, they can be challenging. The one thing that they do have in common is they tend to be abrupt. You know, something happening quickly. All right? And um, just to let you know, I think, I don't know, I've done... Five readings for December, and I think three of the five, this card has come out as a clarifying card. Mm -hmm. So, maybe it's a collective thing, or partially a collective thing, I don't know, but lots of changes. Okay, So, it doesn't have to be, but it could be saying that your change going from this place where you're not really wanting to be to this place where you do want to be 
there might be a tower involved to help you through that. All right. I see this as being a positive thing because it helps you go from the past to having this new future, you know, closing out of this cycle and going to where you want to be and everything being clear. And you also have the lovers. And the lovers can mean that, you know, somebody could come into your life that could be the, um, a wonderful romantic partner. So there is some merit to that because you do have the Page of Cups. It's a learning energy, but it's also all about the love. But this tends to mean that there is a big choice that you need to make. You know, and you can see by looking at this, the choice could possibly be letting go and letting this in so you can have this new beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get a card for the Page of Cups. Or more. Okay, you have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. And they are very, very thorough. And they will sacrifice all speed for the sake of being thorough. It's most important for them to get everything exactly the way it should be. It doesn't matter how long it takes. So this would be saying, no need to rush. This is going to happen. Just make for sure that you use this energy to be thorough and make for sure it's done as you feel it should be. Here. <laughs> Beautiful. I love this card. It's another 10, so that makes two 10s. Here, you're letting go of the challenging past and going to your bright future. Here, you're dropping all the burdens, which is a wonderful card to me. And here you have the moon. And the moon can say several things. One of them is that things aren't quite so clear in the dark, you know, and that reminds me of this a little bit. Don't be in the past. Don't be in the future. Don't be clouded. And here, very, very clear. Okay, this isn't so clear. However, this does say a few other things. One, use your intuition. It will guide you and lead you correctly. It is a help to you. All right. And it's also what you feed. If you feed the good side, it will grow. If you feed the bad side, it will grow. Whichever side you do not feed will wither and die. So make for sure to feed the good side. So in other words, let this positivity take place. Let go. Let go of the burdens. You're protected. You're having a new beginning. And it could have a moment of upheaval. It's possible. That happens to us all the time, right? You need to make the choice. The choice, of course, is yours to let this go or not. Let go of this to have this very clear beginning. You're protected. Use your intuition. Go forward with what it is that you truly want. Okay? Let's get a couple of cards from the universe. See if there's anything that they would like to let us know. Okay, manifest. This is talking about you manifesting. And See this green halo? Look at her. She's all in green. The surrounding area, anyway. You are manifesting. You are taking care of all of this to reach your goal of happiness. Mm -hmm. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the sun. You cannot get a better card than the sun. It's the best there is. 
It's filled with miracles, enlightenment, happiness, joy. It talks about you put in some effort to go forward and it will meet you and help deliver what it is you're wanting. Beautiful. Okay, now let's get a card from the angels. The situation will improve. Oh yeah. It will improve greatly. You're getting out of this and into this. So it's going, going to improve in a wonderful, wonderful way. And it's also telling you to choose a new direction. Mm -hmm. Remove yourself from this a little bit murky dark to a very clear vision of what you want and go for it. Okay? Thank you so much. I truly hope this helps. Have a wonderful time. Much love. Bye.